Good morning, everyone. As promised, it's time for another Working Mom Day in the Life vlog. Today's one of the days that Agnes is at the babysitters all day, and so you get to see what that looks like for me. Uh, it's a super busy day, so let's get started. I managed to sneak out of bed, and she's still asleep, so I'm going to go pack her bags and get those ready before I wake her up. Got diapers, wipes. Blanket goes with her in the car seat and her sleep sack for naps. Everything gets in the bag and this goes with her. Her lunchbox gets breast milk, ice pack, her sippy cup, a vegetable. This week it is steamed green beans and her very favorite snack in the whole world. Grouper's Little Crunchies. Good morning, Agnes. Let's go get you dressed, okay? Fit in one more nursing session before we go so that she's full. What you got there? Yeah, Mrs. Hippo? Yeah. You were crying a second ago, huh? You gonna go? Are you gonna go with Daddy? You gonna have fun today? You're such a big girl. Oh my goodness. loading her up in the car and heading out. It is uh, 10 to 7, so I've got like an hour to myself in the house to get myself dressed and to see if I can do a couple of things. I've got to put some clothes in the laundry. This is the first of many pumping sessions today. On days when she's at the sitter, I do my best to get a pumping session in before work, um, and then I get yeah, you'll see. <laughs> uh, this morning, I'm sitting at my desk because I want to try to edit a video because I have a couple minutes. Um, and I can kind of multitask because I have got this contraption figured out where I don't have to use my hands. So I went back to work at eight weeks. Um, and I could have taken my paid family leave for six weeks and extended my maternity leave, but instead, um, my employer allowed me to take that paid family leave uh, in one day increments. And so that lasted me through the beginning of January. I was taking Wednesdays off and I was at home with the baby on Wednesdays. Um, and all of last year, like the first six months, um, my mom or dad were taking Mondays and my father-in-law was taking Tuesday and Friday. My husband was taking Thursdays until work got too crazy for him and he decided to to stay at home on Thursday, or sorry, stay at work on Thursdays because uh, a project at work was good, ramping up. Um, and so at that point we started taking Agnes to the babysitter, um, first one day a week, two days a week, and now it's three days most weeks. Um, it's a friend of a friend we were referred. She takes care of a few different kids out of her home, a couple toddlers, and Agnes is the youngest. And um, it's it work out, works out really well. Uh, we're, you know, getting to know her as a friend and she's taking really good care of our baby and sends us, you know, pictures and stuff throughout the day and um, it was difficult at first uh, to send her off to somebody who we didn't know super well yet um, and the hardest thing was really Agnes does not like going. She, she doesn't mind being there, but she doesn't like going there. Um, and usually this morning, I was so surprised how happy she was um, this morning in that car seat. Usually, like she cried when I put her in the car seat. You didn't see that. 
Um, but usually she's inconsolable. Uh, my understanding pretty much the whole way there until she gets there. Um, she never reacts while the showing up, but I'm sure that that will get better with time and age. Um, I think some of the separation anxiety, the worst of it, is kind of over, which is good. She's getting a little bit more mature and okay with being away from me, but she does really well there just after she has a couple minutes to calm down. Um, I think it's kind of nice that she gets to interact with other kids. Um, they are older, like I said, they're toddlers. I, I kind of wish that she was, she had somebody around her old, her own age who was crawling uh, who could teach her how to crawl because that's something that she has not picked up yet um, but yeah it's, it's I think good for her developmentally to see other kids and she definitely loves that I know when I take her to the library she loves watching the other kids um, running around and doing their thing so it's it's good the you know the difficult part is that we have to go out of our way to drop her off and pick her up and it was so much more convenient with my parents in the house you know or when we didn't have to go anywhere we we're just at home with her but uh, I think yeah it's good it must be pretty good <laughs> so Gina drops her off in the morning and then I pick her up after work so it works out pretty well for us in the morning, like super early morning, uh, Gino takes care of getting himself ready for work and I get Agnes ready for the babysitter, division of labor, and that way I don't even do anything for myself. I don't even use the bathroom until after they're gone. Um, and then I get a little bit of chunk to myself. Um, half of it is spent pumping, as usual. That won't last forever. Oh, that won't last forever. Today at work, we've got some new investors coming in to give a presentation about what they do and how it affects us. So uh, that's going to be happening this morning. Okay, first pumping break of the day. I'm kind of quiet because the uh, the guys from the investment people are here. Um, since the last vlog I did, this is actually the room I've been pumping in. It's actually been given to a new employee. And so now I have to kind of scrounge around the office trying to find a place to pump twice a day. You know, they're being very accommodating, like I can kick anybody out of their office and just ask to use it for a while. But it's just kind of a pain. Um, and I kind of just miss having the same place every day that I can kind of count on. Um, but, you know, whatever. It's only for a couple more months. Um, and this this guy's actually not in his office today, so I'm using his because everyone else is using their room. So this morning I'm gonna be setting up my daily because uh, I didn't get that done yesterday while I pump. So you know how it goes, right? Like they haven't pulled us in for this supposed meeting yet. I don't know if they ever will. The uh, management is in the conference room setting stuff up to like look at slideshows and I'm on my way to lunch. Uh, they may just pull us in at some point this afternoon. Just like, come come now, just drop what you're doing. What you're doing isn't important, right? Just come straight on in, whatever. Like I, most of my stuff is not super important for it to get done like in a chunk. I can kind of piecemeal it. And I'm getting some stuff done and I'm being pretty productive today, which is good. It's good, I uh, got some sleep last night. Agnes woke up at like 2.30. Usually she wakes up around like 5, 4 at the earliest on a good night. I consider it a good night if she wakes up at 4 or later. And then she'll come into bed with us and, and sleep and nurse for the, the last couple hours of the night. That I consider a good night. Last night was a mediocre night. Um, but I've had coffee. And I'm, I'm doing good. So I'm on my way home for lunch again. Uh, same same deal but uh, on these days I bring my pump and the lunchbox back home with me because I've got pumping session number three um, happening at home and then I have a couple other things I need to pack up and stuff. Wednesday is my busy day so you get to come along the whole thing. My car is such a mess but I've loaded up the books for Bible study and a diaper bag for later. So like I said, crazy day. Today's lunch brought to you by the local Chinese place. 
a microwave, and a bottle of sriracha sauce. I'm working on a little bit of video editing and a little bit of diaper stuffing. I've been getting a little bit less milk than usual the last couple days. I think I might be ovulating. A plus lighting. So I skipped all the boring stuff. Um, highlights from this afternoon. Um, I popped two ounces, so that was good. Found out that the coworker whose office I was using is uh, not in the office today because his daughter has pink eye. So of course now I can't stop. Like my eyes feel itchy, even though I know that there's no reason for them to yet. And like, because I'm not allowed to scratch them, suddenly I'm super aware of my eyes. Ugh. Coworker who's been in the office all of two days. Uh, the trash cans that I ordered two days ago for the bathrooms, they came, they were supposed to come next week, but instead they came today. I apologize for the shakiness of the phone mount right now. I had to put it on upside down so that my phone would stop dropping and showing like my stomach. Uh, so this is what you've got. I'm on the way to pick up the baby. Uh, it's, you know, rush hour, and so there's like freeway traffic and stuff. It's probably about a 15 minute drive. Um, it would probably be about 10 minutes without traffic, maybe 15, 20 minutes. It all depends. Oh yeah, and the um, investment people never pulled us into that meeting after all, so. This live family rosary across America. I'm Father Dave Heaney, along with Karen Moran, and we're broadcasting live from Los Angeles and inviting you to call in with your prayer intentions. And yeah, she was out there with me in the hail. Oh, yeah? She was quite fascinated by it. Yeah, I would imagine. There is um another, there is a bottle, or a bag of milk in here. Okay. It was, I, it should be the smaller of the two. Okay. <coughs> Smells good. Oh boy. We'll see you on Monday. Monday. Thank you. Say bye-bye. Can you say bye-bye? This just means we're going somewhere more exciting. You've never cried to leave my house before. <laughs> Our tide's turning. <laughs> Goodness. You were so good this morning. I was so proud of you. She did good in the morning, and then I think she just got hungry and tired. And yeah, that happens to all of us. That happens to all of us. Uh, mom, mom, mom. Okay, there's Pinky, or is it Pinky? Good choice. Okay. Let's go. Auntie Beth. Hello, Sister Rebecca. Hey, Beth. Um, Are you here? I, no, I'm not. I want to let you know that I'm coming. I might not get there until closer to a quarter till. Uh, there was a, a quarter lot of till? Yeah, I had to pick up Agnes. Okay, cool. So I'm on my Thank way to the I will see you in around the quarter till. How are you enjoying our train station?
have their own high chair and bib which makes it super easy actually they have their own cup too I need to find that for you get you some water you enjoying your beans and chicken yum who's that Agnes Hello. yeah Mickey Mouse where are we going that's right and something something underline something resembling a large sheet came down Another commentary or another translation said, and saw heaven open in a certain vessel descending on him as if it had been a great sheet knit on four corners. Huh. So I'm like, so was there a, was it a vessel or a sheet or does it remind you of a sheet? Mm. But it was really something else. Peter was probably trying to ex like express exactly what it was. And Luke was like, like a sheet? Yeah. <laughs> so like, it been... Kind of like a sheet, yeah. Right. So just, but something like a sheet. And then another commentary is like, you know, kind of gathered, they're like focusing on gathering that four corners. The four so corners imagine it's thing, being, being like the four corners of the world or carried, something. You know, the Gentiles. Be and, a better stretch, but they were just saying like, it's like more like a basket or something. Maybe. Huh. Because it's got to be suspended somehow. Or something. Well, it's, it's, it's basically creating a vessel, uh -huh. you know. Oh, uh, I see, I see. These things. So, uh, it's a picnic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on Wednesdays with Bible study it's a very late night it's already 9.30 and this little girl has been so sleepy she just gets wiggly and silly when she's sleepy and um, so we do a truncated bedtime story sorry everybody's in the house um, so just wrapping up for the night and getting her to bed so that's my Wednesday crazy busy day um, and thanks for following me around We'll see you in the next one. Bye.